All right, let's talk about what you should care about if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing or upgrading your first printer. And you're probably asking, should I buy the kit? Should I buy the whole thing assembled? And some of you are even like, a kit? If I'm paying that much money, doesn't it just come assembled? In this video, I'm going to answer that by going through my full experience, why I chose Prusa, what the buying and waiting process was like, a real world building timeline, the mistakes I made, including a stripped screw, uh, that was a whole saga, how Prusa actually handles customers support and how my first print turned out. By the end of this, you'll know if the kit is the right decision for you or not. I debated this question for a while. I talked to people who've been 3D printing for years. The consensus was pretty clear. If you want an out of the box solution that looks minimal, prints great with almost no fiddling, and you don't really care about software lock-in or how your data is handled, people said get a bamboo lab. But if you care about long-term reliability, high quality prints, upgradability and the ability to repair and swap parts as new stuff comes out even if it's not the most minimal looking and sometimes uh, even lacks convenience features get a prusa i kept hearing the same line from people uh, prusa is the toyota of 3d printers and here's the kicker if you go prusa get the kit because if you build it yourself you'll actually know the machine when something breaks and it will uh, you'll be able to fix it that really sealed the deal for me and i bought the kit the buying experience is super clear uh, no confusion about what i was getting but the wait ugh, that hurt from the order to delivery was about six weeks i had a bunch of emails with prusa support and at the time the lead time was listed as like three to four weeks mine took about six eventually it arrived but yeah the delay was really frustrating prusa says that a new builder uh, will take about like nine hours to build this entire kit for me it was much longer Day one actually started at 3 p.m. It went on for about six hours for me. Day two started at 8 a.m. And I stopped working on it at 8 p.m. with like breaks in the middle. So here, hour, here, or there. Day three was another six-ish hours. I'm slow by choice because there are a lot of moving parts and a ridiculous variety of screws. Oh my God, the amount of screws this thing has and the different types is kind of mind boggling. Mixing them up is a recipe for pain. So uh, I took it really slow. My strategy was really simple. Well, read the Prusa instructions twice, cross check the photos and then watch a YouTube video for the same step because I learned better visually. One underrated lifesaver were the comments section on Prusa's uh, online manual. So as you're going through instructions, if there's, let's say, a mismatch in the instructions that says use an M3 screw, but actually you're supposed to use the M4, someone in the comments will actually point it out or they'll tell you go into this specific bag it's in this thing. So that saved me like a lot of time. Even with all of that caution, <laughs> I hit a wall. Uh, while aligning the X and Y, basically making sure the gantry moves cleanly left to right and front and back, the thing that uh, extrudes the filament to make your print, I stripped the screw. It's a rookie move and I figured uh, no big deal. Uh, there's an extra, but the strip screw would not come out. Oh my God, I tried everything. I tried uh, heating it up with my soldering iron, a hair dryer, a little gas stove to heat up uh, and like try to take it out with pliers. Try to tap it in reverse with a hammer. I wasted hours and I ended up just damaging the part beyond recovery and the screw still did not come out. So after that, I contacted Prusa support and they were actually excellent. Not just here's a replacement, but here's what likely went wrong and how to avoid it. And a few days later, the replacement part showed up on my door for absolutely no cost. Quick reality check is space. The build takes a lot of space. I did it in my office and it made the room basically unusable for three days. Camera gear for filming, bags of screws, sub assemblies laid out on the floor. I put it in neat rows so nothing went missing, but I needed to leave everything exactly where it was between sessions. So if you're building a kit, set it up in a place where nobody will touch your layout for at least two or three days. My dog would walk over some of the screws and mix them up and that was actually very frustrating. So I uh, learned that from my experience. Now back to the build. After installing the replacement part, I ran into more small issues. One of the motors, I had it flipped upside down. The thing that the belt moves on, it was just flipped upside down. That was attached to the motor. But honestly, these are just part of building a kit. Then the moment of truth, I powered it up, loaded the filament, 
Prusa includes uh, two to get you started, the black and their signature orange, printed a Benchy. If you're new, the Benchy is like a standard torture test boat that checks overhangs, uh, the bridges, the layer consistency, the surface quality, and mine, it looked great. Not expertly dialed in profile grade, but way better than I expected for print number one. Honestly, was really close to tearing up after over a week of building this, waiting for parts to come in, tuning it, going back and forth with customer support it finally printed something <laughs> I actually called my wife and we both just sat on the floor and just watched the printer print a benchy it was uh, it was an emotional moment but here's what surprised me the most how much I now understand this machine I know where every cable routes I know why certain bolts need to be hand threaded before tightening I know how the axis align what the tension should feel like and where to look if something is off so now if anything breaks I can fix it that confidence is the main reason uh, I'll recommend the kit to anyone who enjoys building things I still haven't learned 3d modeling that has still gone way above my head so the community already has a lot of prints that you can literally just download it from there and you just print it for your personal use I have printed something using an AI tool that just made a 3D model for me but it's still very early days we'll see where that goes I may still just have to learn uh, 3D modeling so here's my recommendation if you like building tinkering and truly owning your machine get the Prusa kit it's one of the most rewarding builds you can do and the knowledge transfer is honestly priceless if you're planning like a print farm or you just want to print and go pay the extra for the pre-assembled and not the kit your time will be better spent on just printing than building the machine in the future videos I'll dive a little deeper into the beginner settings uh, what basic things you should be doing how I have been printing Printing stuff that helps build like daily useful household stuff how do I make like my prints more reliable if you want me to test something very specific let me know in the comments and I will share as I learn more and the next video will be about how I print some sort of mounts for the server rack and put my PCs it's already up there but it's kind of blurred so you'll have to just come back for the next video until then see you next time